Tees, what's happening? What's cracking, lagging, and what's popping, baby? It's your boy, for Kids, with Sarah coming at you guys with your November 2019 love share reading. I hope you guys are well. So let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind, this reading is general. If it resonates, that's awesome. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? These messages may resonate backwards or vice versa, so take them how they resonate if they apply to your particular situation. If you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is all linked down below. And you guys can also check out my sister and her boyfriend's YouTube channel. First link in the description if you guys want to take a look at my family's life so Pisces I was taking a nap and I had a dream and you know what that dream was it was a fish that looked at me and said read me bitch okay Pisces if y'all need to be read that bad let's get it popping okay I cannot believe that dream I had and I hope you guys are proud of what you did all right messages for my Pisces please Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs throughout November 2019 messages for my Pisces please Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs throughout November 2019 all right baby let's Let's get a crack in, man. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Hopefully, you got some awesome stuff. Pisces, energy between you and another person. Nine of Pentacles, hello. Can be connecting with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You got a Seven of Cups, you got a Queen of Pentacles, and you got the Lovers. Ooh. Well, first things first, Pisces. Okay, you're definitely in the period of time right now where it's all about the options. I got options. I'm chilling. I'm doing me. But you're going with the flow of love right now, okay? I'm feeling this energy where you want people to serve you rather than it's time for you to serve others. I think you've done your serving, Pisces. You've been the mistress. You've been the maid. You've been the, j the, j the janitor. That's the word I'm trying to use, okay? You've served a lot of people your time but i really feel like in november it's time for a different change now november is the scorpio season and in regards to the scorpio card in tarot that is the death card and i'm thinking that you guys are going through this transformation in order for you to say i'm done doing what i'm normally doing it's time for me to change so with this scorpio energy with this death energy you're dealing with you want roles to be reversed you'd rather have people serve you instead of you having to serve them and with these options that you do have whichever one impresses you the most is the one that you'll take and i think that pisces you're genuinely just looking for somebody to take care of you you're not looking for somebody to be codependent on you're not looking for somebody to like serve you like a slave that's not what it is you're looking for you're just looking for somebody to actually take you into consideration so that you can have a really nice relationship that's equally balanced instead of it being a one-sided one and as for the outcome that's present pisces you might just get the wish that you're looking for baby because we got a lovers card for this outcome you may be meeting a gemini or connecting with a gemini so i'm seeing new love on the horizon for you guys and i'm seeing you come into alignment with the person that's here to treat you right okay i like it so far i'm digging it dog so pisces what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the person that is this queen of pentacles whoever you're dealing with or will be dealing with keep in mind that you may not meet this person during this time frame you may meet them at a later date readings can resonate in a timeless manner okay so let's take a look at the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with then we're gonna go over how you feel towards them we'll take a look at where energies are aligning and then the outcome for november 2019 okay now, in regards to who Pisces is dealing with, let's take a look here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 2019. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 2019. Who is this person Pisces is dealing with and how do they feel towards the Pisceans, okay? Hello, we got a Hermit card, ooh, Temperance card, Eight of Swords, Death card. Oh, baby, you got a Tap. Oh, give me one more card for this. Okay, give me one more card for this to tie it all up. All right, baby, let's take, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Let's get it poppin' Pisces, poppin' baby. All right, let's talk about it. So you got a Hermit card here and you got a Temperance card as well. You may be dealing with a Virgo or possibly a Sagittarius. So I'm seeing somebody, whoever this individual is that you come into alignment with, they are, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very wise, but besides just the wise factor, the person you're dealing with, I feel is spiritually in tune with you. This is not just necessarily uh, meeting a random person. I do feel like this is a soulmate. So this is probably somebody you've had a past life connection with, but whoever this person you um whoever this person is that you're meeting i'm seeing that with a hermit card to the temperance card they have been going through a mass period of healing because they've gone through some shit too pisces okay so whoever you're dealing with over here i feel like they are definitely healing from their past relationships their past wounds um they've gone through a lot so you are the type of person they need to meet okay so i think you both are going to find each other at the perfect timing um with the eight of swords here to the death card yeah whoever you're dealing with like i said they just got out of some shit here with 
with a death card to the eight of swords they had a lot going on that was keeping them trapped they could have been trapped in a mental prison with previous partners they dealt with in the past but i feel like who you're connecting with or will be connecting with they're going through that transformation too and you know how i said in the beginning that it's november it's scorpio season it's that death kind of energy the person you're dealing with they need a change in their life and in regards to that change they need a change in the relationships they surround themselves with as do you that's why it's so perfect when you meet this person um, i'm seeing that based off whoever this person is it could be a libra here but with the empress card all the way with the nine of cups this is an individual that's overall balanced and what i mean by that is they're a giver but also they're a receiver as well this isn't a person who's going to be too submissive and this isn't a person who's going to be too dominant this is a person that has the perfect mesh in the middle okay this individual likes to meet you in the middle i'm feeling like whoever this person is that you're connecting with is very well-rounded they're very six of pentacles they want a genuine relationship where you know things are equal you know like hey i'll take you out to dinner on friday and you know i'll rub your back we'll do some cool stuff and then like you know maybe later on we can do something else or maybe you'll you know have a nice romantic dinner you can cook for me you see what i'm saying it's just very equal here in the relationship this person just is very considerate of how you feel and they're very considerate in taking care of you and actually having that energy come on back now with the ace of wands to the two of cups i do feel like whoever you're connecting with they're looking for a relationship they're not fucking around here you know the person you're dealing with isn't looking to just vibe with somebody and have it turn into a friends of benefits or have it turn into something that just lasts for like two days the person you're dealing with is genuinely looking down to settle down with somebody pisces which i feel is going to be you Mhm. Mm that's going to be you Whoever you're connecting with here that you'll be building a vibe with, they want to settle down with someone and you kind of happen to fall into their lives at the utmost perfect time. So Pisces, you came into somebody's life at the perfect time because it almost feels like this energy of I've been waiting for you is what I'm feeling from this person. Whoever you're dealing with has gone through a shitstorm of relations. They've gone through a lot of relationships that haven't worked out in their favor. And so have you, Pisces. That's why your situations and scenarios are so identical. But yeah, whoever this person is, they're very considerate. They're very balanced. They really do want this relationship. They want something real that's going to end in marriage. This is a person that's looking for their forever person. They're not just looking for someone to pass the time with, okay? And they like you a lot is what I'm seeing here. They want to form a relationship with you. And they also want to form a future with you. Now, in regards to how Pisces, yeah, right off the bat, as I said, the future, the chariot card came out. It could be a cancer you're dealing with, but they do want to form a future with you. Now, depending on how Pisces is feeling towards this person, let's take a look. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout November 2019. How is Pisces feeling? You got a six of cups. There you go. There's the familiarity aspect. You may feel like you've known this person okay you may feel like you've known them before like you've dealt with them before that's why i said this could be a past life connection happening for some of you pisces this could be your ex you're reconciling with i don't think that's for the majority of you but for some of you your ex really has changed here and wants to re-manifest in your life um and you're gonna give that a go okay so for some this could be a reconciliation with an ex you've dealt with in this life and it's working perfectly but i feel like this is a past life connection so you're meeting the person for the first time in this life but you've known each other from recent lives you've lived together, okay? Now, in regards to how Pisces is feeling towards this person, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout November 2019. Okay, you've got a Tower card. Oh, like I said, they're going to trigger the shit out of you. you got a King of Wands, you got a Page of Wands, a Four of Wands, an Eight of Pentacles, and a Three of Pentacles. You feel the same way. Remember how I said this person felt as if they were waiting for you? You felt as if you were waiting for them. This is the perfect kind of person that's falling into your lap at the perfect time. Look at that Scorpionic energy working in your favor. There's the Tower card. And the Tower card I always talk about is usually the Awakening. Now, I did Scorpio's reading for this month, and it actually was called the Awakening of the Soulmate. And believe it or not, Pisces. I almost feel like this is a quite a similar read where maybe you're having the awakening of your soulmate as well because with the tower energy being present, um, you're going to wake up to a higher level of consciousness when you connect to this person. You're going to see things in your life rapidly change when you surround yourself with this person's energy because this person's energy is something that you needed, okay? Not only is it very high vibrating and loving, it's going to transform everything around you in your life. I feel like this person's going to push you into such a high vibration that things are going to massively change. Not only is your perspective going to change on the world, on your desires, on things you want in life, on how you want to live and construct your life, it's going to flow with all of that. So you're about to see basically kind of your life change a bit. Um, and I feel really good about this person too because you feel like you could be yourself around them. That's what's good. 
okay Pisces you feel like you can joke with them you can mess around with them and play with them you're not very shy with this person you're very outgoing with them from the gate you know from the jump whoever this is you're gonna be very outgoing with them um and believe it or not you know you're over here saying yeah like you're willing to work towards a relationship too and you're willing to establish and build a future with this person as well so you really met somebody you click with and this individual um by no means necessary is just you know the average plain jane i think this is a person the reason why you guys click so well is because of the past lives you shared together and you're coming back in this one to continue sharing and it's looking good it's looking fantastic so far okay now in regards to where energies are aligning between pisces and this person let's take a look here sun moon rising venus signs throughout november 2019 okay you got a ten of pentacles oh you got a two of wands you got an emperor you have an eight of cups and you have a four of swords so in regards to where energies are aligning here i'm definitely feeling this vibe of you guys just settling down and feeling very relaxed and comfortable with one another super duper quickly with the ten of pentacles to the two of wands you're gonna feel as if this person it's like you're you know when you meet somebody and you already kind of consider them family this person, you're already going to acknowledge that they're family because they're soul family in the sense here is what I'm seeing. Wow. Yeah, that's why you guys have shared past lives together and stuff because you, this is a member of your soul family. That's cool. So you're meeting a member of your soul family. Dope, Pisces. Um, and you're going to be feeling very much so stress-free around them. I feel like you're not going to be feeling stressed at all. With the Eight of Cups to the Four of Wands and the Emperor, this just means you're moving away from feeling like you have to control everything to actually feeling light around this person. So with the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords, you're going to feel very relaxed around them, and you're also just going to feel very chilled out. This person's going to give you really good vibes. Not only are they making you quite happy, but they're making you ultimately relaxed, less stressed. I feel like they take away your stress as well okay so yeah you're meeting a member of your soul family um of course pisces for some this might not be a romantic relationship this might be a friendship that's coming towards you um you know somebody you just meet maybe it won't move into a romantic relationship but so far i do see romanticism here but if not it could be a friendship forming but yeah you're meeting a member of your soul family dope as for the overall outcome between pisces and this person please someone rising venus throughout november 2019 Okay, ooh baby, you got a judgment card, you got a knight of swords, and you got a six of swords, beautiful, okay? Scorpio energy here is treating it well, I'll tell you that much. You got a just, uh, judgment card, knight of swords, and the six of swords. Not only are you two gonna mesh well, not only are you two gonna enjoy your time together, but I'm seeing you two actually having a long-lasting partnership or a long-lasting friendship. So things are working out here, things are moving, and that tower card's causing major alignment for you guys this month. Now, I do know here there's going to be a lot of Pisces that are like, oh, well, Ant, you know, this isn't happening right now. This isn't manifesting in my life. I got a lot going on. Well, then this probably isn't your reading, but this could be your reading down the road. As I say, even if this reading is for November, it is a timeless read, so it could resonate for you next June, and this could be happening towards you, okay? But for the Pisces, this is happening for, I'm really happy for you, whether you've met a soul family member that is going to be your friend or a soul family member that's going to be, you know, your romantic partner, it's definitely a very beautiful reading. I feel like you're meeting somebody that you genuinely need in your life, and that's all due to the fact that you've cut off all the people in your life that weren't serving you because Pisces you've gone through a wheel of karma all throughout 2019 if you've recognized that you've gone through a wheel of cutting out people that you no longer can surround yourself with because they drain your energy okay and yeah there you go the universe said this is time for you to take your gift Jesus man that's beautiful ace of pentacles to the ten of cups the universe says it's time for you to take your gift you really deserve something better but the only way the universe, this is what it says to you, the only way I could give you such a gift is when you recognize what you deserve. You see, Pisces, when you feel like you're undeserving or when you don't love yourself to the fullest extent or when you don't think you deserve the best, you're going to continuously manifest the karmics. You're going to continuously manifest the crappy people or the people that keep you under. But when you finally live for you, and when you finally realize that you really are worthy of everything awesome and amazing in this world, that's when these beautiful moments start to manifest in your life, and these beautiful people start to manifest in your life. Where attention goes is where energy flows. So when you bring your attention to the beautiful things in your life and continue to create and make a more abundant life for yourself, everything else will follow through. You know, as a word of advice for some of the people watching that maybe this reading isn't resonating for, my best word of advice would say, make your life the best life you can. Live your life in the best way you can. Live your life in the most happiest way you can. Because when you are focusing 
and working at a high vibration, when you are living for your own happiness, you are not going to be surrounded by anything else that's going to drag you down. When you are truly happy with your life, content with who you are, and you're going to continue to grow, that's when everything else falls into place. You know, a lot of people think, I have to manifest a partnership, or I have to manifest the right people. That's not true. Raise your vibration and make your life what you want it to be. For example, find your dream career, find what makes you happy, start doing things you're passionate about and doing things that make you excited and happy and understand that every other area of your life will come through. Your love life will come through when you're happy with what it is you're doing. When you're happy in your life, your beautiful romantic partnership, that'll come your way, okay? Your dream job will come your way. Everything goes off the energy you put out into the world. And if you're putting good energy out into the world, every other aspect of your life, will be supplied with that beautiful energy as well, okay? Damn, Pisces, I love it, man. But at the end of the day, that's what the universe said. Like, how could you expect me to give you something good when you didn't even think you were worthy of it? But now that you understand that you are, the universe comes through for you. So this is definitely a message for the Pisces that have gone through a lot of shit but came out a warrior and realized that they got to stop putting themselves down. They got to stop making themselves suffer, right? Pain is inevitable, but suffering's a choice. And you're recognizing that you could rise above that Pisces and transmute that energy into something more positive and successful, okay? God fucking mother damn. Hell yeah, baby. Hell fucking yeah. And there's one more thing I wanted to touch basis on. I'm trying not to forget what I was saying here. I want to... Give me one sec, guys, because there was something I was going to say. Oh, man. I hope I don't lose it for the Pisces because it was important. Um, it was somewhere along the lines, though. Like, at the end of the day, Pisces, you know, kind of along the lines of what I said before. If you want everything in your life to be amazing, it all starts with you. Just know and acknowledge everything else will fall into place. It doesn't matter... You don't have to singly focus on manifesting, you know, an awesome husband or an awesome job or this and that and third. It all starts with your happiness. When you start living for your happiness, other things that will add to your happiness will manifest regardless. So for any of you guys right now that aren't in this space, you know, don't wish you were there. Don't be upset that you're not there. Just accept the present moment you're in and understand that in order to get to this beautiful place in your life, you have to start with you and finding your own internal happiness and working with that and building the momentum of moving into high vibrating energy. I promise you the rest of everything else will fall into place. When you're living life happily and passionately and doing what you love every single day, everything else will come full circle for you and will allow you to live a happy and beautiful, amazing life. That's awesome, Pisces. I love this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. For the Pisces this resonates for, awesome. I'm really happy for the soul family member you're meeting. Uh, if it moves into a romantic partnership, that's really awesome for you guys. I hope, um, you know, hope and wish the best for you. Even if this is just a friend, who cares? That's an awesome friendship happening right here. But you're meeting somebody at the most perfect time because I feel like you both share similar background stories. You both share kind of the same past. That's why you guys are gonna be very much so easy to click with. And on top of that as well, Pisces, you know, this person you're dealing with they're an overall rounded person. They're a person you need. They're a person that's worthy of you and you're worthy of them. Awesome. Pisces, guys, awesome fucking reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, if it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. If it doesn't resonate now, wait a month or two, see what happens. I love you guys. Have an awesome and fantastic November and I'll catch you guys for your November 15th through the 31st, uh, mid-months, all right? Peace.